Power Six today. And fellas, I know you 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 know you may think that you know you laying it down in the bed and you're doing all of this you know, and that's gonna keep her, you know, submiss submissive, and that's you think that's gonna keep her loyal to you. You think that's gonna keep her happy. That's not necessarily true. Uh, good sex won't keep a woman, and bad sex won't necessarily run off run a woman off. But what will happen is. A lot of women have already had the type of sex. They done had, by a certain age, women have had a certain caliber of sex. Let's say by 28, 29, she done had, in a lot of cases, the best sex she's, she's ever had because her emotions were involved in the sex. It wasn't so much the physical aspect, it was the emotional investment she's made. So a lot of women fall for these guys at early, at early age and they head over heels. And they did with heartbreak a certain way and on a certain level because their sex is tied to their hearts. So by a certain age, she didn't already had the best sex because she's loved the hardest. After a woman loves a certain man a certain way, it's going to be hard for her to replicate that love unless it's for her child. She's not going to be able to give that same love to another man after she's been, you know, on this, on this same path so long. That's why you, you hear the term damaged goods. Damaged goods is not so much a woman having a lot of sexual partners, even though that's a part of it, damaged goods is about the emotional turmoil she has endured and has went through up until the point she's met you. A lot of heartache has been attached to a lot of the, the dudes that gave her the best sex. So her bit, a lot of a, a woman, you, you, you'll be hard pressed to find a woman that is overly head over heels in love with a guy that she hasn't had sex with. It's it's gonna you gonna be down, it's gonna be down there impossible for you to find a woman that's just head over heels for a guy that she has not had sex with and that has not pleased her sexually. So you can't use sex to, and that be your only means of controlling a woman or thinking that's gonna be your only means of controlling a woman because she sex is she's had so much sex to where in her mind it's still not gonna be good enough. She feels that she can do better. That's why a lot of women leave relationships. It, they leave great situations in hopes of thinking that I didn't have better situations in the past. I can run into better situations in the future. Now, knowing that their their body has taken a certain uh, level of stimulation, if you will, that's going to be hard to find again because her emotions dwindle down. They deteriorate over time. So women have to constantly seek a high. That's why they bounce the hyper, that's why hypergamy is such a big thing. They bounce from man to man to man in hopes of I'm going to get this same euphoric feeling that I got from this guy when I was this age or when I was this age. When you, you look at uh for the for the people who remember the older guys, it was a movie called How Stella Got a Groove Back, which was basically Angela Bassett, you know, going on vacation and she met I think a uh, Lorenz Tate, which was a younger guy. She was trying to get back into her younger self, even though she was all the way over the wall. She was 40 plus, but she thought she can relive the fantasies and the thrills that she experiences that she experienced in her early 20s, mid 20s. So a lot of women feel that way. They feel that they can get this, get a certain feeling back by trying out different type of men. They think new or different means better when it, that's not necessarily the case. Women like to explore the same way men like to explore. Women are highly sexual. Women think about sex, I would say, more than men do because women go through cycles. So they go through peaks. The sexual energy, their sexual thirst and hunger, it peaks around the time the cycle either leaves or it's about to come on. So she's pretty much in this ovulation stage. She, 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 she ready for it. So she's looking for all these different type of experiences that's going to give her a certain feeling of the guy that imprinted her. She's she's looking for that best. You you know it. You as men, if you had a certain you have a certain level of sexual history, you'd have had some of the best sex in the world. You'd have had some of the, you and you didn't been with women who you know for sure you didn't put it down like no other. So you think you think you didn't put it down. She didn't told you you the best and yada yada yada. Yet. Y'all didn't work out. Why do you think that is? It's because good sex doesn't necessarily mean a woman is going to remain loyal to you. Women date 
based upon the circumstances in their life. So even though they may think about it, they may step out and do this, but that's not going to be the sole reason she's going to stay with you. She has some, you have to be something that she, she knows she'll never get again. She has to know, and a lot of the times she's just taking a break. She's tired of trying out different men looking for this experiences or looking for this type of experience. So she'll, she'll pick one out of the three or four that she's dealing with or the four to five that she's dealing with. She'll, she will pick one once she gets tired and she wants to take a time out and she'll settle with that guy. Even though he may not be the one, he may provide the best benefit based upon the current circumstances that she has in her life. If she's just, you know, moving, she, she changed jobs, she did whatever, her finances, you know, her, her, the money that she's spending is going to change. She's going to be looking for a guy that can offset some of those expenses. The proximity in which she was dealing with you, because again, the way a woman chooses her boyfriend is going to be on several factors. How convenient is he? How easy can I access him? How beneficial is he to me? And how does he make me feel? That's why women, they it's like an epiphany they have. They say, you know what? I want to be in a relationship with this guy. I, I, I want him. It starts off from the initial attraction. And then they say, okay, well, I could benefit because one, he's convenient. He's easily accessible. He doesn't stay too far. The moment that change, you will see this. If you're dealing with a woman, let's say, that lives in your neighborhood or your apartment complex or whatever, or at work, the ease of accessing that person is going to be one of the most, is going to be the, the biggest factor in y'all relationship. The moment that change, the moment you move away or the moment she moves away, you're going to see a shift in the relationship. It's going to slowly dwindle down because the convenience factor is not there. It's because if she has to drive to you or she has to wait for you to come to her and, and, and all of this, she's going to, it's, it's not going to be convenient for her. So she's going to look to replace you with someone that's more convenient. She's going to look for someone that's closer. She's going to look for someone that's more convenient. So it's the same with sex. She's going to look for something that is a different type of stimulation. This is a different type of uh, notch under my belt because women thrive off of conversation. They love to talk. They love to go and tell their friends about their experiences. So with out these experiences and without trying these new dudes and new whatevers, they don't have nothing to go back and tell the hive or tell the group anything that's worth talking about. They don't go back. They don't. They the their ranking in that in that social order it, it goes down because the type of men oh you talking about him again uh, that's boring. So they want to have something new. They want to have some fresh energy because their friends are doing the same exact thing. They, they, they tell about all of the, the good and bad when it's exciting, but once it's no longer exciting to them, they're going to, you know, nobody's calling her, you know, they're not calling you, calling her every day. They're not, you know, trying to get into business because you didn't, they, she didn't told everything. There's nothing new or nothing else to tell. That's bored. Woman, when, once a woman gets bored with you, you just, you just got to count your days. That's why it's never, she's never yours. She's just your turn. So good sex won't necessarily keep her there. And bad sex won't necessarily run off. Now, let's look at that. Again, you're a convenience. You have women that are not sexually pleased, but are in relationships with guys that do other things that please them, such as cater to them, provide for them, entertain them, protect them, etc. But the sex may not be as good as the last guy who didn't do some of those other things. So she will fake the orgasm. She'll fake an orgasm. She'll fake moan. She will, you know, make herself or lie to herself about enjoying something that she's really not enjoying. She really don't enjoy the sex, but because his bank account is hidden a certain way, because he's, you know, a certain type of guy that gives her convenience and it gives her that praise and worship that she loves and, 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 and she, she, she yearns for, she'll stay. Only until she'll stay, but she'll cheat. But she won't, you know, it won't come out because a man's pride is everything. He's not going to admit that, you know, my old lady stepped out on me. He's not going to admit that. But so he'll take that beating in private and silently until she, you know, gets everything. Until she feels she's got everything she's going to get, then that's when she will leave. So good sex. I know you want to you want to think that, you know, you land it down and that's going to keep her, you know, loyal. That's going to keep her, you know, happy and keep her with you. 
That's not necessarily the case because a woman likes to level up. That's why you hear the, the size doesn't matter conversation. Size does matter. And you when a woman's saying, okay, you small, you're this and that, you have to ask, how did she get, how did she scale the size chart? How did, what, where's her frame, where's her references coming from? What she's saying, well, he's small, he's big, this makes me, you know, this is, this pleases me, this doesn't. She did, she did the homework. She, she, she did the work in the field, if you will. She went out and experienced so many different type of guys. She found out what was small, what was big, what was this, what was, what was this. And she has a certain archetype in her mind on this is the silhouette or this is the type of guy that uh, he can't be small. That's how they think. They use shoe size, your body physique, your height. They use a lot of different things to categorize men. That's why you hear women say they like a certain type of t a, t a certain type of man for for this period of time. This is my experience with this type of man has been pleasing. So this is what I like. Okay, well I want to try this though. So they are div they are dibble and dabble into other different type of dudes just so they have that under their resume so they can go back to the circle and say hey i was i was with this dude this is what happened or i was with this dude this is what happened they thrive off the conversation because with that conversation comes the number one thing that motivates her and that's attention she'll do anything to get attention what no matter what if it's negative or positive she just wants the focus and the attention to be on her so she'll put all her business out on, on facebook she'll put all her business out on Instagram because she just wants the attention. She needs the attention. She needs the sympathy. She needs the empathy because that's just that's just how it is. She she's been deprived of that, so she needs she needs it. She's, it's, it's just like a dose of medicine. That's all it is. It's, it's like your daily dose of you know attention. So once you understand the dynamics that sex won't keep a woman, uh, good sex won't keep a woman, and bad sex won't make her leave. You, you, you're on a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword you walk, you, you're playing with. So don't get caught up in thinking that you have, you figured out how to keep a woman. You keep a woman's attention by being inconsist consistently inconsistent. You have to be unpredictable. You have to be spontaneous. If that's what your goal is. A lot of you guys are purple pill. You want to you wanna still play boyfriend. You still want to play boyfriend, so you're getting frustrated on why she... She 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 do it. She hitting you with the shit test. She she going out with her girls. She she putting pictures on online, you know, looking for attention from the opposite sex. This is what you got. This is what you have to deal with. You have to be consistently inconsistent to keep her antennas going, to keep her antennas up, keep her working. So, it's the date master. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share the video. I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace.